Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be talking about some more utilities. And uh, these ones I'm going to be going over today are some things that are going to help you with some text-based things. Uh, we're going to go over one that's going to force a wrap, and we're going to go over some text replacement mix-ins. So this force wrap is really useful. Let's say you have a word that is so long it's breaking your layout. So let's actually make a really long word. I'm just going to turn this into a really, really long word. And so we'll save this and let's look at our layout. As you can see, it's totally breaking our layout. It's, it's going way past the margins and way past our padding. It's outside of the element itself. We wanna force this word to wrap and stay within our layout here. It's actually really easy. Um, so in our intro paragraph where that's located, we're gonna type in our mix in and that one's going to be at include. And then we're gonna call this force hyphen wrap semicolon I'll save this refresh our page as you can see this super long word now wraps and stays within our layout it's looking perfect let's actually see what the CSS did scroll down here let's check it out it's in our okay so it's added this white space pre white space pre wrap right so everything that you need to make sure that this is going to wrap correctly on all of your browsers. So this next thing we're going to do is just going to hide our text. So to do that, we want to assign this to the paragraph. We're going to do the paragraph that's within intro. So inside of our intro class here, we're just going to say, you know, brackets have our paragraph in here. And for this, we're going to do add include, and then the mixin is called hide hyphen text semicolon. Now, if we refresh our page, as you can see, the text has been completely hidden. And this is actually doing some cool stuff. I mean, it's really just, let's see. Yeah, it's really just giving this overflow hidden, uh, white space of no wrap, and then indenting the text by 110%, effectively pushing it from view. So it's still being you know rendered on your page, it's just being hidden. So this is a common technique for text replacement if you're using images. Of course, that's just hiding the text there, so let's get rid of that one. And now, let's do something a little bit different. This one's actually very similar. This this is going to be at include, and instead of high text, we're squishing text. Okay, and so what this is doing is it's actually just squishing it from display, so you can't see it, but uh, screen readers will still pick this up. So you're hiding the text, but a screen reader is going to pick it up, no problem. Um, so that's squish text. If we want to replace text with an image, that's also no problem. So let's not do this on the paragraph because it would be kind of weird. I'll save this. Let's look at um, one of our links. Let's, sure, let's make a link to do this with. Um, okay. So we'll, I'm going to put a link in between these two paragraphs. So right here, before three, we're just gonna have an anchor and we're gonna give this a class of hide me. And it's going to have text hide me. Okay. Save that. Okay, let's go to our CSS. So I'm just gonna declare this class here. I'm gonna say the hide me did I have a hyphen in there? No, okay. And inside of here, we're going to use a text replacement. So this is at include and then replace hyphen text and then parentheses. Okay, so in here, we're going to specify the relative path to our image. And so we have this in our images social folder. So because Compass is configured to look in our IMG folder for images, all we have to say is social uh, dash slash, and then our image, which is facebook.png. Okay, and then we can actually do a comma for its background position, vertical and, or horizontal and then vertical. But, you know, we're not using a sprite for this, so it doesn't really matter. And then in here, we're gonna to need to also display block because this doesn't do that for us. 
And we're actually going to need to wrap this in quotes. Okay, I'll save that. Now let's check out our HTML. As you can see, here is our image, but of course, you know, there's no height or width. We actually didn't tell it a height or width because um, offhand, I don't know how huge this image is or not. You know, so let's actually go back to our sublime text and there's another uh, mixin that will actually find the image height for you. It's called replace text hyphen with hyphen dimensions. Okay, so now we save this. And same thing, we'll just leave this display block on here. It's actually going to find the image dimensions for us. So now that this is refreshed, you can see it's actually pulled in our image uh, and its dimensions for us. It's using some SAS functions that are actually looking at the image, finding its height and width, and setting that to this element's height and width. So there you have it. I was just able to replace this link with uh, an image, and I didn't even know its height or width. I did it in two lines of code. It's pretty special. Let's check out the CSS just so you can see, you know, just really appreciate everything it's doing for you. Bam. So all this stuff from two lines of uh, compass and SAS, it's just awesome. Okay, well that's it for uh, these utilities in compass. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please let us know. You know, hit us up on Twitter at Level Up Tuts and let us know what you're thinking. Uh, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.